Welcome to video number one from PIT Computing for GCSE ICT and in this video we're going to look at hardware. You'll already know a bit about computer systems and you'll know that they comprise of boxes and screens and things and also things that are on the screen. They are everywhere in devices that we use these days but also in household items that we might not necessarily know as being computer systems, but they are. Hardware, those are the parts of the computer that we can touch and feel. This maniac is even putting his arm through a computer screen. Hardware can be defined as any physical part of a computer system that you can touch or pick up. Software, on the other hand, these are the programs that we use on the computer. They might be something like Word or a web browser or even the interface we use on a cash machine, an ATM, an auto teller machine. They are things that we can't actually touch, although he looks like he's touching the software on the cash machine here. He's not, he's actually touching a little monitor. Software is something mystical and something magical that we just can't touch. It's virtual. It's the instructions that make a computer work and carry out a task. A bit more about hardware then. Hardware can be divided up into two separate categories I think. The computer that we're used to which is the box that's got lots of things inside it. We might know it as a desktop or a tower. I like to call it a unit. Some people even call it a CPU, but a bit more about CPUs in another video. And the other category is peripherals, things that all attach to the computer. Now the computer's got lots of internal parts. We'll learn more about all these internal parts, such as a hard drive or memory, um, in a future video. Bit more about the peripherals. They can be divided into three categories as well input, output, and storage devices. Input devices are things that we use to input um, things into our computer. Output devices is things that we get information out of our computer. And storage devices is where we'll keep and save our files. We need to know some about something called the microprocessor. Now, there's a little microprocessor chip. It's not the sort of chip that you'll have for your tea every single night, but it's a little electronic chip that lives inside um, the CPU, the processor of all computers. And that includes computers such as the household devices that we mentioned before. These could be things like games consoles, household goods such as washing machines, even fridges and freezers these days. But things like microwave ovens, we know are computers, we'll put into a microwave oven the amount of time we want it to cook our food and then it will cook that our food for that amount of time. It is a computer and it has microprocessors within it to do all of the computing. What other devices around the house or in everyday life, workplace, your social life, can you think of that have microprocessors inside them?